Welcome to Current Affairs. Today, we're diving into a shocking and controversial case from Alabama, where a death row inmate experienced a harrowing execution by nitrogen gas. Alan Eugene Miller's final moments were marked by intense struggle and powerful last words. We'll explore the details of this rare and contentious method of execution and its impact on the ongoing debate over the death penalty. Stay tuned as we uncover the full story behind this unsettling event. Death Row Inmate's Final Words Before Violent Shaking During Controversial Gas Execution Alan Eugene Miller, 59, was executed by nitrogen gas in Alabama on Thursday for the brutal 1999 killings of Lee Holbrooks, Christopher Scott Yancey, and Terry Jarvis. In a harrowing week that saw a wave of death row executions across the U.S., Miller's execution stood out as he struggled for six terrifying minutes while officials carried out his execution using nitrogen gas, twice. The state of Alabama executed Miller, convicted of committing three consecutive workplace murders in the 90s. This marked only the second time this controversial method has been used in the country. Miller was pronounced dead at 6.38 p.m. local time at a prison in southern Alabama. He was reported to have shaken and trembled violently on the gurney for about two minutes, his body sporadically straining against the restraints. This was followed by approximately six minutes of intermittent gasping. Miller had been convicted of murdering Lee Holbrooks, Christopher Scott Yancey, and Terry Jarvis in 1999. The state previously attempted to execute him by lethal injection in 2022. In his final words, muffled by the mask covering his face from forehead to chin, Miller said, I didn't do anything to be here, I didn't do anything to be on death row. He then turned to his family members, asked them to take care of someone, and said, thank you. His official time of death was recorded at 6.32 p.m., with the execution process beginning at 6.18 p.m. Miller was one of five inmates scheduled for execution within a week, an unusually high number that contrasts with the declining trend of death penalty use in the U.S. John Hamm, Alabama Department of Corrections Commissioner, explained, there's going to be involuntary body movements as the body is depleted of oxygen, so that was nothing we did not expect. Everything went according to plan and according to our protocol. Tonight, justice was finally served for these three victims through the execution method elected by the inmate, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey said in a statement. His acts were not those of insanity, but pure evil. Three families were forever changed by his heinous crimes, and I pray that they can find comfort all these years later. Tonight, despite misinformation campaigns by political activists, out-of-state lawyers, and biased media, the state proved once again that nitrogen hypoxia is both humane and effective. Miller's execution went as expected and without incident. Thank you for watching. The case of Alan Eugene Miller raises many questions about justice and the methods used to carry out capital punishment. What do you think about the use of nitrogen gas for executions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more updates on true crime and current events. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.